Moro, brother Billy. Moro, brother Antonio. Brother, don't, don't look upset right now. Just, oh. just, do I look a little upset? I mean, I don't know if I look upset or if I don't look upset. It's been a while, but do I look upset? A bit. A bit, okay. That means I've calmed down. <laughs> brother, let me tell you something. Mm. You know, you know, I understand that ignorance is bliss. That's fine. That's fine with me. That's all right. But when you're in an institution of higher learning, then your bliss should not be about ignorance. You know, you got to be informed. You got to, you know, you, you, you know, what, what do we get? Read, research, read, research, 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 research. You know, so if you have, like, for instance, a grievance, then you got to know who you grieving against. I mean, that, that seems to be, well, anyway, I, well, anyway, let me tell you what got me so upset. You know, we had this campus action, you know, some students protesting about they didn't get some money or something like that, some bursaries or whatever, whatever it was, you know. And so they put the whole campus on, you know, they was they were doing the things like locking people out of there, you know, whatever they, they were doing a bunch of stuff, you know. And uh, so I'm going like, you know, and I talked to some, some, some time, I talked to, in fact, let me, let me, let me show you what I mean right here. I'm not sure, I, in fact, I was so peeved, peeved is a good word, don't, don't offend nobody. That you know, when I get really miffed, when I get really upset, you know, I, sure I yell out to everybody else, you know what I mean? But if I'm really upset, I write. That's what I do. I write, brother. I mean, I wrote just three pages. Then I was so upset. Mm -hmm. it starts out last week. Ah, don't worry about that part. I got something here about, you no, know, I won't, won't deal with that right now. Maybe we'll go back to that. But let me show you what I mean. Okay, here. Okay, now one, one of these, one of these, one of these uh, leaders, I said to him, you know, of course, it's strike action. I said, well, if not having class now, they gotta make it up. So I said, oh, uh, you know, I said, oh, well, you know, uh, what do you think? You know, how are you gonna resolve this? They said, well, hey, you know, we'll just have, we'll make it up. We'll have, we have classes in September. And then I asked him, I said, well, lecturers usually usually plan, uh, you know, they have plans in place to go places. You know, they got to go to places and and. and hand in papers and you know they gotta go families whatever happens so I said well just who do you think is gonna be teaching you with these classes that you done struck against and now you trying to make up and they they I guess they thought a little bit they said uh give me rather what I call a glib answer you know glib 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 answer they was like well we'll cross that bridge when we come to it <laughs> and I'm going like <laughs> Now you see, I'm gonna give my whole head. We talked about leadership before, but if you tell me something, like, I'm going like, you know, these guys might be a little bit short on the thing, you know what I mean? But some mm -hmm. what? Like, let me see. I'm like, I went on to say my thing, you know. Now it struck me. See, I was at a meeting earlier, and they, they talked about Freedom Square. I mean, that was that my head. Like Freedom Square, you know, you have a right. Freedom Square is right out here. You know, it's a big, it's a, it's a historic place and whatever have you. You know, I even heard it was a guy named Spear. And you, you know this guy's spirit, you ever hear from him? Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, you, you do stuff and then people show up as free so I even put something, I said, I come away, from, I came from this meeting intrigued with the Freedom Square idea. And with the events of the past days, it has been uh, germinating in a mind as something uh, like a slogan, like, hey, let's take it to the square. Or, you know, Take it to the square. I mean, if you have a grievance, take it to the square so we all can figure out what's going on. Then I say, it's something perhaps the legendary spear might toss. That's a good literary see a spear. The guy's name was Spear, but he might toss. He tosses spears. So, mm -hmm. I thought it was pretty good right there, right? But anyway, let me get back to what upset me. So they hear these people are, are, are destroying them. I mean, they're throwing stuff on campus, they're burning stuff, I mean, you know, uh, you know, there wasn't burning no people, wasn't no tired necklace burning, thank goodness, you know. Yeah, they was doing all that. And, uh, you know, I came, you know, I was doing some stuff that I came back and later on to go to this meeting, right? And I'm going there, and I have it right here, I think I got it in my pocket, I came on campus, and it looked like there was this big old police action, you know? They, uh, now, police action, you know, the police these days, it's ain't even police. Police are the people that, you know, serve, protect, help you out. This was like a military action. The reason why I know it was a military because when I came across some people were talking to me and they gave me one of these. You can see it, you can feel it. That's right. Mm. 
Do you know what that is? I ain't never seen one in my life because boy, I said, I never, I never seen one. I was, you know what that is? No. That's a rubber bullet. Uh, Don't feel too rubber till you do it. Um, kind of hard. Yeah. It's like like silicone. You know, you know, when we do a baseball, they put things in the middle to make it hard. Anyway, I'm trying to say this thing will bop you in the eye. You, hey, worse than that, bop you in the ear. Mm -hmm. You want people to see? You want people to hear? Mm -hmm. What kind of research you going to be doing that? Well, there's people that can do that, but, but my point is, so they basically did stuff, destroying stuff that invited military action on an academic institution. Don't these people know that when you have a revolution, the first people they come and get us out from the radio station is the academics, is you intellectuals. Don't they invite us up? Look, I know I'm skipping around, but that's, I, I gotta get out of here anyway. So I had this idea about Freedom Square, and it's, it's me the notion that the bygone uh, days of Freedom Square sessions are in order. I mean, after all this stuff, I, I think that, and I think they should take place after these current resolutions are, you know, whatever they negotiate and what's on the table, what's not on the table. Oh, please. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, after the conclusion, you know, and after, here we go, here's my point. And after the leaders of this upheaval admonish their followers to profusely apologize to the campus staff as they help in the cleanup with that staff who will surely be charged with the putting everything back together that they destroyed. In fact, I'm even more radical. I think the campus staff should supervise the cleaning up, students cleaning up the mess that they made. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why it's upset me so much, he said, why are you upset about some workers? You know, aren't you a, a high-flying elite? Aren't you going to be an intellectual or whatever have you? Said, no. I come from poor people. My grandmama was cleaning people's houses to get me to, you know what I'm saying? There's people, the people in this campus come from other countries. You know what I mean? They didn't, they ain't got no bursaries. They had to pay their way through. And you shut an example, you be, uh, no, I pay full bursary. I mean, I, nobody give me nothing. I pay. And so you're going to take away my class time, my research time. I can't get to my, place. because you, no, because you ain't got no money. And plus, you're marching against the wrong people. Let me, let me get back to that. Let me just, now, you know, see, the reason why I'm so upset because I come to campus early in the morning and I'm seeing these, these grounds people working to get the campus in order because in less than two years we're going to have our centenary. Mm. They're trying to make the place look beautiful. And these spoiled kids ain't got no money or can't get no money or can't work for no money. What they doing? They destroy it. And it's the wrong, it's the wrong people they destroy. Mm. They, if they need to march against somebody, not the university, not the school that you're sitting in, it's not blocking people out your campus or offices or shutting down the library. They need to march their behinds down to the Department of Education, which is the ones that's supposed to be paying them that money, or march to Pretoria for like they're marching to Pretoria. But they want to be all military, march to Pretoria. See what you're going to get there. Go to the Department of Education. If there's a problem on campus, maybe it's an administrative problem. Okay, maybe. But you don't go down to the bank and just and, and and march on the tellers, <laughs> destroy your bank, march on the tellers. You go say, hey, what's going? Look, maybe I'm just being too drama, drama, audio dramatist about this. But look, this is after all, this is one of those dispatches from the audio, audio drama guy. That was me, you know, arts director Meris. <sighs> then you know what I only suspect. Oh, man.